What's up everybody? My name is Blaze Tiger back with another video. And I'm super late with this video, I know, but uh I've been playing a lot of well today, well actually every day, but especially today I've been playing a lot of Valheim. I've gotten into that game heavy now. And I've been playing it with some friends, so I've just been stuck on that. So I took some time off to finally do this video. So <clears throat> this is a February 18 JP patch. And we are getting, well, sorry, JP is getting a brand new character to the game. And that is Denzel, Captain Denzel. Um, he was in the anime, I, I, I don't want to say brief, but, he, well, I guess you can say brief, can't you? Kind of, kind of, in a way. Uh, he's not. He wasn't too big of a character, but we'll see how his in-game character does uh, compared to with how he did in the anime. So he's a, of the human race, he's a red unit, passive, guts of the veteran, increases allies recovery rate by 10% at the start of every turn, limit five times. Um, okay. Uh, first skill, Royal Impact, inflicts damage equal to 400% of attack on one enemy and life steals 40% of that damage. Okay, so his, I would like to see what it looks like when it's not level 3. It's probably, I don't know, it'll probably be 10%, I don't know. Um, and let's take a look. So building lifesteal on him when you're gearing him is a big thing. Lifesteal, HP. Um, second skill, Dead Man's Revenge. Assumes a stance for two turns when attacked. Inflicts corrosion damage equal to 30% of max HP on the attacker for two turns. When attack, inflicts corrosion damage equal to 30% of max HP on the attackers. On the attacker for. Okay. Um. Let, okay. Let me let me look at this one first. Divine execution inflicts damage equal to 500% of attack on all enemies for one turn. The hero HP cannot drop below one. This. This character is is centered around kind of surviving. That's the way I'm looking at it. So I don't know HP defense gear, uh, life steal HP on his uh, two bottom items, the um, orb and the belt. That's probably how I would build him because he doesn't look like he's too focused on attacking, like you know doing a ton of damage. He's more focused on support and giving him recovering his health. And then doing corrosion. So he's not bad. He's not bad. Um, obviously, I would have rather see more demons come out to help us solve more Meliodas, but it is what it is. Um, he will be on a ticket banner. Uh, and he looks like he might be able to get him at level 80. Okay. The Archangels will be on this banner. So this is the, that's a way for them to make people want to summon more, right? Uh, okay, cool. Mileage, yes. Yeah, so you will get them at level. I like this. When they come out with characters like these, like they're not the biggest character, and their card may not be the biggest card in the game or player, well, uh, character in the game. Um, and they do this, which makes the banner even more appealing because you don't have to throw your resources into getting him to level eighty and getting him six star. So that's pretty good. Uh, here it has cosmetics right here. They all they look dope. They look cool. Um, sales, sales, cool, cool, cool. And it looks like one ticket is equals a uh, uh, multi, so that's pretty good. Hold on one second. Okay. So download login event. So da, 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 da. so it looks like you will be getting tickets for him. So so basically his banner is a free banner, which which again is very good because one you're getting him at level eighty, six star plus Saria Tarmiel and Ludosio Ludosio is on the banner, so you have chances of getting him. So this this is actually very good. This is actually very good. Um, if they're if they're tickets to purchase, then obviously, if this banner were to come out on uh, global, I would, I would uh, summon on this because you know I'm getting the free tickets every day. Plus, there might be tickets that you can buy. So this is this is pretty good. 
If even if it's no tickets, if you, even if there's not the tickets you can buy, you're still getting free tickets every day, and you and you're guaranteed to get him at the last step. So that's pretty good. Uh, Merlin Magic Box. So it kind of looks like the Hawk event that's on Global right now for the one year anniversary. And here are some of the prizes you can get from. Well, here are the prizes you can get from the special box, and then from the normal boxes here. So not bad. Uh, growth event, so one free revival per day if you lost about da, 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 da. Okay. Final boss Eskino returns. So <laughs> he has re he has dropped on JP and now he's returning on JP before he comes to global. So I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, but global hasn't gotten him yet. So I don't know. It would have been cool to get him actually right now since the one Eskinor is the theme of the anniversary. So it would have been cool to have him for the anniversary, but it, it is what it is. And you guys know how these go already. We've been doing Final Boss for a while now, so you know how this goes. Uh, Tower of Trial. Oh, let's see what the heck is this? But, uh, Tower of Trial, cool, cool, cool. Bug fixes and da da da. That's it. So. Um, a little minor update, nothing too big, but it is good that they're giving you a free banner with great units on it, and then you're getting the main unit for free, level 86 star. So that's very good. So I wouldn't, I'm not, I wouldn't complain too much about this. And he's an okay unit. Um, again, like most unit, they either look bad or good on paper, and they may perform good or bad when you actually use them. So I would say just wait to see how he, how he performs. Once you get him, or once you see other YouTubers use him um, in the game, uh, I would like to see him run with um, Roxy, since her passive works with human characters. I'd like to see well, uh, how we Roxy. I'd like to see how he um, operates on her banner. But uh, that's all I have for this one, guys. This was just a quick one. Um, don't forget to check out my summonings for the one. Um, for those who didn't watch it yet, it was it was really bad, really, really bad. So I have to do a part two summon that is coming up pretty soon here. So look forward to that. And uh, that's all I have for this one, guys. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next one.